Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the database connection and how to fetch all the records from the database table using a console application with the select statement. So as I said, in the previous video, we have seen only the SQL connection class. And now I'm going to implement all the five steps. All right, so let's begin with this. Here you can see that there is a namespace uh, using system.data.sql client. From this, we are fetching all these uh, classes. Fine. And then there is a class, main method, and then, and then I'm creating an object, and then I'm calling a method. So this method is over here, that is create table. And then initially I'm saying SQL, SQL connection is null. And then within the try block, I'm just going to add all the steps. The first step is we know that we have to pass the data source in the SQL connection. Uh, so I'm saying my PC name slash SQL Express, and then the database name we have to pass, and then integrated security, we have to say true. All right. The second step is SQL connection, uh, sorry, uh, SQL command class. So here we have to pass the command after creating the object. I'm passing select star from table name. And then, so for this particular connection, and after that, I'm opening the connection. This is the third step. The fourth step is I'm using SQL data reader. Uh, basically, this SQL data reader is used to execute the command, SQL command. So that I'm saying CM. Oh, see, oh here you can see that. That is command dot execute reader. Execute reader is generally used for select statement uh, because execute reader is uh, forward only and it is means it will read the records and then it will move forward like result set uh, which we have seen in AJT and this is very faster because as it uh, fetches the records uh, using select query so when compared to the other execution methods this execute reader is quite faster okay now uh, I'm saying while and then this SQL data reader SDR dot read there are several methods we'll see in the upcoming uh, sessions i'm saying read and then i'm uh, saying console write line using this sdr uh, object reference and then i'm saying the i'm fetching the column names from my table this is a serial number and then i'm saying name so both the knee uh, you know uh, column names will be displayed and then underneath that the records will be displayed so and then if there is any exception i'm gonna catch it with the uh, catch block and then i'm saying plus e means it will exactly print the uh, uh the error object means uh the information of that particular error will get stored in this object reference e and then that will get printed finally i'm closing the connection so this is the fifth step all right so let's switch back to the netbeans uh sorry i'm going to use visual studio uh so here uh, let me say again console application and then i need to create a project console app and then i'm say i'm saying db3 and then create so this is a console application and then as i have uh, taken code uh, let me just paste it over here fine so whatever we have discussed in the ppt i just brought the same code over here now uh, the same table which i'm going to connect that is table demo and then the same database which i'm going to use so if you want to know how to establish this particular connection then please check the previous video now let me just show you your uh, this is the sql server uh, and then the date the same database and table is available over here so as I said that once we connect here in the Visual Studio, then we can manage the entire table database and all those things over here, getting it. So now uh, here you can see that the same code, which I have just discussed, I've kept over here. And then now let me just run. So I just want to show you the execution. If I say start, and then you can see that it is displaying the results to uh, records we have in the table let me just cross verify i'm saying show table 
data and there are two records and that is what we got uh, in the console app fine now let me do one thing over here i'll go to the cs file now to halt that particular console app let me say uh, console dot read line you can say read line all right and then if i say start now you can see that the two records it is fetching the records using the select query and then it is getting displayed all right so now this sql data reader uh, follows the connected architecture getting it so it requires database connection and that that should be live that should be always connected in the next example i'll be discount i'll be uh, discussing the disconnected architecture so because ado supports two oh, types of architecture one is connected and disconnected so in disconnected we're going to use sql adapter uh, and then data table data set we can use fine so stay tuned for the next video if you like the video hit the like button do try this and let me know if you have got any queries in the comment section thank you and thanks for watching the video